I'm back. Rodrance for our Black and White Network. Well, you know, when it comes to COVID and some of these vaccine, anti-vaccine mandates, etc., all the different things that some states went through that we didn't. I'm in Texas. Of course, Florida. We were out on a lot of that shit almost from the beginning. We had lockdown. We came out of it. And many people went on with life, right? In these states. But we had a lot of Democratic states and a lot of these places that wanted to require people to prove that they were vaccinated. Well, as you can imagine, a lot of singers, etc., we wanted to start getting back to life. And someone like John Rich, he said, I'm going to go out and I'm going to tour. I'm going to put on shows. I'm going to play concerts. Now, John Rich is an unapologetic conservative. You can see him on The Blaze. You can see him on Fox News. He's part of uh, the country band Big and Rich. He released an anti-Biden, anti-woke song last year, Progress, that was number one on the charts. Went straight to number one on iTunes the day it was released. Go watch it. Great video. Great song. And uh, he, of course, speaks out about a lot of this sort of leftist-leaning uh, vernacular that's out there. Well, anyway, once he started booking shows, uh, facilities wanted to start mandating that people that come to the shows were vaccinated. Now, John Rich didn't like this. He chose not to play those venues. Well, when he went to separate himself from one venue, a promoter decided to sue him because they wanted people to prove that they were vaccinated and present their, quote, papers. Does that remind you of anything? Maybe Germany? Maybe Nazis? Show your papers? Do you have your papers? Anybody remember, remember that scene on the uh, blimp in Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade? When the Nazi asked for papers? Yeah. Well, anyway, he said, you know what? I'm not taking this lying down. He has won that lawsuit. That lawsuit has come back. And the venue lost. A woke asshole trying to tell people what to do lost this lawsuit against John Rich. This is the blaze. Country star John Rich recently boasted about winning a legal battle against a venue that tried to enforce a vaccine passport. A vaccine passport. Do you know how crazy that sounds? I mean, that sounds like we're living in another country. It's frightening. It's frightening. I don't understand, you know, how anybody could demand to see something like this. But, uh, you know, keep in mind, I remember on Twitter, I remember on social media, there were people out there that were calling for people to be jailed, thrown in jail if they refused to get vaccinated. Of course, the military required vaccinations. This has truly been one of the scariest events we've ever had from the standpoint of how many people went off the deep end and how this started feeling like a a different country very, very quickly. And I still can't believe how many people just rolled over for this so fast. It's pretty startling how quick everybody would jump on board with the government, wasn't it? According to the outspoken singer, he never played at venues that would require concert goers to present vaccine passports or, quote, papers in order to attend. Rich says at one venue, tried to add the stipulation after he booked a show, so Rich canceled. At that point, the promoter sued the singer. Quote, during the lockdowns, I stated I'd never play a concert venue that forced fans to show their papers for entry concerning COVID, Rich tweeted. One venue added that rule after I agreed to play, so I canceled it. The promoter sued me. He lost the case today. Happy to say I never bent the knee. Fans responded with reactions such as, thanks for standing up to the tyranny. We all need to stand our ground. But at least one alleged fan was not happy apparently learning for the first time that Rich was not supportive of vaccine passports. I won't be attending any of your concerts anytime soon. 
With that attitude, the likely attendees are going to be a concentrated group of anti-vaxxers, one user replied. It sounds like a great place to catch COVID. To other John Rich fans, if you're smart, you would stay away too, the woman said. <laughs> John Rich actually answered that one. Quote, sounds like a plan. There's a thumbs up on Twitter. Rich 49 has been an out been outspoken on many cultural topics in recent years. In 2021, he spoke out against ideologies that he said are seeking to erase what he and fellow stars care about. This was in response to the Country Music Awards taking large steps toward championing equity, diversity, and inclusion. Yeah, I mean, Country Music Awards went woke. Plain and simple. Do we remember all the virtue signaling that happened during that first country uh, award show uh, after the George Floyd situation? It was pathetic. I mean, absolutely pathetic. Quote, there are many conservative country music singers that just won't say anything to push back against ideologies that aim to erase what we care about. Rich wrote on Twitter, why? You know why. I hope soon we see them start to speak up. The country music industry is out of touch with its audience. That is an absolute fact. Rich has gone platinum four times with the band Big and Rich. Most famous for the song Save a Horse, Ride a Cowboy. Yeah, and I've seen those stickers all over the place. Here in Texas, anyway. Uh, so... That's pretty cool that he actually won this lawsuit from this promoter who's obviously a lunatic leftist and lost his mind. Um, it's frightening. I mean, it's absolutely frightening how quick people rolled over for mask mandates, vaccine passports, uh, vaccination requirements. That's where I tip my hat to, for example, all those truckers in Canada that stood up to this crap. Okay, you won't see many entertainers come out and say the things that John Rich is willing to say. We need more of them. When I think of blatant conservative country stars, I would assume very much so that Jason Aldean and his wife, who sp they've they've spoke out against wokeness. Um, in fact, they uh, Jason Aldean lost his longtime management group over it that predominantly houses country singers, and you can go to their website and see those those different uh, country singers, and it's pretty eye-opening how many people are willing to stay with this, this uh, management group, okay? And they're out of Nashville. And uh, uh, Trace Atkins, I know, is an unapologetic conservative, a very good friend of uh, President Trump. Uh, so there's a few out there that's willing to come out because, look, if you're a country singer, you're not going to lose any money by proclaiming to be a conservative and that you're going to fight wokeness and fight things like these vaccine mandates that affected people like our military for so long. But still, so many, so many of them will not. They're cowards, just like sports stars, just like most celebrities. Look, make no mistake, a lot of celebrities are freaking conservative. But they will never admit it. And in fact, I believe a lot of them go out there and play like they're woke and just lie to everybody. Which is not helping anybody right now in society at all. Tell the truth. Stand up for crying out loud. Grow a pair. Uh, so I give John Rich some credit. I'm glad he won this lawsuit. And... Um, yeah, you don't need the fans that's got a problem with you having done what you just did in fighting this lawsuit and winning. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you go over and check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. 25% off USA First. 25% off USA First. Go now.